Welcome back. When you're watching television, do you ever feel you can do a better job putting a show together? Well, now you can have that choice as the power of TV goes online. The young for Tanya Rouse finds out what your home computer is capable of. Technology has, has changed everything about the broadcast industry. Um, Thanks to technology and the speed at which we're computing now and, and the great software that's out there, we're able to do almost everything a broadcast facility can do right on your desktop. November 1935 is when broadcast television began. Only months later, we created the first electronic television, and we've had a rapid progression ever since. We went from black and white television to color to digital, and now to digital live stream multimedia internet TV. Uh, right now, there's a lot of different packages available for creating television content on computers, um, even home computers. The, they're getting more powerful, and there's more applications being written every day. The te we have packages that start at like $500 for editing your home videos, all the way up to $20,000 for broadcast creation. Or so you can film. make little movies, basically. Absolutely. There's, okay. there's people out in the garages and in their basements that are actually producing television content now. CP24 is a good example of what the future of television is all about. Our website, Pulse24.com, allows you to click on at any time, watch our live newscast, live traffic cameras, and even check out what's happening in our newsroom. All the advancement in technology is really exciting, especially for a broadcast channel like CP24. But what does it mean? Can we become obsolete? I don't think Watching that that's going to be a reality. I mean, obviously, you're going to need people to do the stories and to edit and to, to make them into a presentable format. And all of that will always be important, regardless of what the platform is that it's being distributed on. So there will always be a demand for quality content and quality programming. If you'd like to check out the tools that are used for creating and streaming video, you can get on the website at videolink.ca. From Videolink on Gerard Street East, I'm Tanya Rouse for Cable Pulse 24. And that is this edition of Closing Bell. City Pulse at 6 is up next. I'm business editor Libby Snymer. I'll see you here again on Monday.